Hello YouTube, today I am comparing the DPS and the team capabilities of both Sino and Kaching to each other. Both these characters are well known electro aggravate characters that utilize quicken and aggravate to do most of their damage and they also get compared to each other quite a bit. So let's see who comes out on top. I'll have my characters builds playing in the background right now and I would like to preface this and it's that my characters are not equally built but they're both using their arguably best 4 star weapons with Zaino using the Missive Wind Spear and Kaching using the Tokabu Shigore both at R5 just to keep it fair my Kaching's talents are not as leveled as my Sino's but her artifacts are better and my Sino will be using the 4 piece Thundering Fury for this showcase the first damage test we have in this video is their solo damage against the Cryo Regis Vine I would like to preface that this is only their solo damage and both of these characters scale heavy off EM and aggravate teams and Kaching especially does not scale at all from EM in non aggravate teams and I'm still using her EM build so keep that in mind. Neither of these characters were able to take it out in one rotation, but Sino was able to eke ahead from, compared to Kaching with a full EM build. Once again, Kaching does not scale at all from EM without aggravate. Next up, we have the EM Kaching versus Sino in the Mwahu Kenki showdown. Both of these characters will be using shielders and also a facial just to funnel back particles to them because both of them like their bursts and Sino is quite painful to play without a battery. One thing to note in this one is that because it was raining while I was fighting the Mwaku Kenki, some electro charges did proc, a lot of electro charges actually proc, so officials A4 triggered quite a bit compared to how much it triggered when Kaching triggered super contact with Diana's burst. That being said, Sino did win this by a decent margin, mostly because of his longer burst duration and his overall higher damage than an EM Kaching without aggravate. The final showcase against these characters is the final team showcase where Kaching's EM stat is actually a little bit useful. Against the Primo Geo Bishop, this is a high health target that both of these characters will be fighting against. Enjoy.
Now I'm sure you guys are very confused as to why I chose the teams that I did indeed choose. And Sino did get the better end of the stick in this scenario. I chose just to run Sino with both Nahida and Zhongli because without Nahida and Zhongli, it's kind of annoying to get constant dendro app and also my level 16 Nahida on that account does actually nothing so it doesn't really matter. And the Zhongli just because Sino's duration is so long that if you don't run him with Zhongli, it's an actual pain in the ass to knock it, knock it around every 2 seconds in his burst. While for Kiching, I decided to give her better buffs with the likes of Sucrose and also Thrilling Tails on Sucrose, which did give her better damage than Sino in my opinion. Also, because Sino had Zhongli, the shield was able to be blown up, which did explode in the Primo G Fletcher's face. And if Kaching was able to do this as well, then Kaching would have gotten an equal time to Sino because that shield blow up thing does about 200k. And if Kaching had 200k extra damage, then it would have been tied or almost tied. Obviously, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe as I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers as soon as possible. Tell me if you guys have any recommendations for any future uploads in the description down below. Characters are not, are not an issue. I will probably release a Sino guide and my experiences on actually playing this character later. I'll see you guys later.